now to vote 2024, and along with the fight for the White House, there is a major race for one of Florida's U.S. Senate seats. Rick Scott is running for re-election. Local 10's Glenna Milberg is live in Doral, where Scott received a major endorsement. Glenna. The endorsement tonight is from the Hispanic Police Officers Association. Meanwhile, Scott's likely opponent, Debbie Mukarcel Powell, she is with the Venezuelan community today, so you can see how already South Florida's Hispanic vote is squarely in focus in what is destined to be a pretty aggressive and expensive Senate race. It's a real honor to get endorsed by um, by law enforcement. A show of force for Senator Rick Scott, surrounded by Miami-Dade Republicans working to keep the county Republican-leaning. D.C. is it's pretty messed up. Um, it's really messed up, um, but um, you know, you can get things done. A senator since after he was Florida's governor, Scott has been one of the Senate's most conservative voices and a constant critic of the Biden administration. He'll likely face off against the former congresswoman the Democrats recruited to take him on. I'm an immigrant. A Latina. Debbie Mukarcel Powell could not be more politically different. She campaigned today with Venezuelan Americans, a sign the state's two and a half million Hispanic voters will be a focus and possibly a deciding factor in a close race. Rick Scott has turned his back on Florida, and the rising cost of living here in the state is making people leave our state. Senator Scott did not mention her today, leaving that for the congressman who unseated her in 2020. Debbie Merkel Powell now will try to paint herself as some kind of moderate. She's not. Uh, she's a progressive Democrat. Mukarcel Powell may be buoyed by young voters turning out for the abortion debate in November, though border issues and the war in Israel will be conservative draws. Is there ever a world where you would ask Israel to pull back? I think there ought to be a ceasefire at the moment. Every Hamas terrorist is dead. Hard to tell. We're almost a year away from this race. So both of these candidates actually have to get through primaries first. They both have opponents in their own parties, but clearly they are the big names in this Senate race. They will both be backed by their parties very heavily in what is certain to be a nationally watched Florida Senate race. I'm Glenna Milberg live in Doral tonight, local 10.